Hello, what's up and what's happening? Welcome back for yet another Miles Dawkins 24 7 production. And today we have another Let's Talk video. We're going to be talking about the Cincinnati Bengals, and this is the 2014 preview. Now, the schedule for the Cincinnati Bengals for 2014 isn't the easiest. They have games versus the Patriots, versus the Broncos, versus the Saints, and of course, they have to go up against their regular NFC North opponents, the Ravens twice, as well as the Steelers twice, and they also have to take on the Falcons, the Tampa Bay Bucks, and those Carolina Panthers with Cam! My man Cam Newton. But I like what the Bengals did in the draft. They picked up a uh, Denard, the cornerback from uh, Michigan State. I feel like he, he could help their secondary. They still have some nice pieces in that secondary with Hall. You still have Adam Jones, and I like him over the slot receiver. So he's still a pretty good, not the best, but a pretty good corner. But to me, this team is going to have to rely on Andy Dalton a lot more. I think they're going to go as far as Andy Dalton can carry them. We saw in the playoffs when Andy Dalton in that offense put the defense as great as the Cincinnati. Bengals defense is when they put the defense in bad situations the defense did not come through now that's going to happen to all the great defenses around the NFL from the Niners the Bengals the Seahawks the Panthers all the teams that have a great defense if you put the defense in a bad hole a lot of times during the game well then they're going to give up points and that's what we saw in the playoff game versus the San Diego Chargers but you have to give this kid credit because ever since he's been there he's taking the Bengals to the playoffs or you could say that the defense and AJ Green taking him to the playoffs but I feel like if Marvin Jones, the other receiver, and Muhammad Sanu, Sanu, if they can step their game up and really be another threat outside of A.J. Green, well, that's just going to help Andy Dalton. Now, of course, Andy, he's going to have to make better decision making. He's going to have to make better decisions out there than what he's done in the past. He's really going to have to protect the football because this is still a very, very young team. Again, most people would probably agree that A.J. Green is really the only uh, option at receiver, the only real threat at receiver. Receiver. So they're going to have to rely on second year back Giovanni Bernard and first year running back from LSU, Jeremy Hill. They can rely on those guys and get those guys involved, get them 20 to 25, maybe even 30 touches combined. Keep Andy Dalton, you know, just handing, handing the ball off, only taking shots to AJ Green when it's necessary. Then the Cincinnati Bengals have a pretty good year, and I don't see why they can't make it back to the playoffs because I feel like the, the Pittsburgh Steelers even though I love me some Pittsburgh Steelers and they did get younger on defense they're still pretty old in some important positions on the defense but Ike Taylor I like his game still one of the better corners probably one of the most underrated corners throughout his whole career still got Troy Palomalu you know the offensive line really isn't the best but it's really not that bad either and I hope hopefully for the Cincinnati Bengals Geno Atkins can come back healthy if he does that they should have a good chance of again making it to the playoffs but we all know that they can make it there but can they do their thing and actually win a playoff game Cincinnati has been waiting for a playoff win for like two or three decades now it's pretty sad man but Cincinnati Bengals fans I think you guys have a lot to look out for for the 2014 season got a lot of promise Andy Dolan I think is gonna protect the ball a whole lot better even though he didn't right there and I have you guys back into the playoffs but the key is can you get another home playoff off game by winning the NFC North. You're going to have a great chance to do that, so it's going to be very interesting to see what the Cincinnati Bengals can do going forward in this season. But that's going to wrap this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoyed bringing it to you, and I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hot sauce.